YouTube, it's your boy Dev, and we back in the trap. I done probably did this video probably like, nigga, three times, camera shut off, my green screen, nigga, I was looking like the visible man, half head, no neck. This is my third time doing this video, but three strikes you're out looking at us, and we're going to do this video because we need to get to this bag, man, because every day we're being positive, man. What's up, gang? What we got today is DJ Academics speaking on Quavo. And sweet fucking battle of love. <laughs> uh, we gonna chime in. We gonna throw our opinion on this. See what the fuck going on. Because I, let's get to the video, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk my. I'm gonna talk my. I'm gonna talk my. Okay. So chat. This video starts at a very okay. awkward position. By the way. Make no mistake about Wait, I and I love this. Wait, I love this. This Street East team sent this to TMZ. Hold on. So you you set my nigga Quavo up? You your people sent this to TMZ? You trying to hurt my nigga pockets? Oh, uh, because you know, you know, you know what they do for these females, man. You see what they did to Chris Brown? They they didn't crucify that dude like he Jesus Christ. My nigga was on the, again they was striking that dude, bro. And Chris Brown was as talented as he is today, bro. He wouldn't have made it. They tried to crucify this dude. So that's what Sweetie Team tried to do. Just crucify this dude, bro. At the end of the day, it's a couple fight. That's just gonna be sold, bro. So what it look like to me? We don't know who bag this is. Is it Quavo's or a Sweetie, Sweetie Pie, whatever her name is. It's a bag and it belongs to somebody. I don't know. Qua she tried to grab that motherfucker and Quavo said, nope, not today. So, 100%. If this video had existed before, I personally believe that he's a victim. Women like where it's universally. Let's see what They don't like when people got split opinions. Uh, nah. Like he said. He, the victim. he is the victim at the end of the day because you got to look at it. What pisses me off? Because she was on revolt, selling all cocky and shit. Like, she don't need nobody. Like, she top tier. Like, I'll go find another nine. Okay, Quavo would make eight figure. I'm going to find me a nine figure. Like, you were so bossed up in this video. But, like, this bag, you could let that shit slide since you're so bossed up. But you're so worried about this bag. They can let that man get his shit, get out of there. Because you sound cocky like you don't need no dude. But you don't hear being petty, fighting over a bag. Then your team send it. Your team send it? I agree with her. And then somebody said, uh, I'm not. He, he actually, nah, he's a victim. Women like where it's universally, they're the victim. So all this shit talking they do instantly goes to a lot of boo hooing and crying. Trust me. So I believe after the recent happenings that shit, even though we over here look at Quavo like, oh, Quavo, you do look a little weird with this and third. But bro. To me, he didn't look weird. Okay, you know when he tossed him, when y'all seen him toss him in the elevator, when you seen her talk, when you seen Quavo, I can't talk. When you seen Quavo toss her in the elevator, you know why he did that? He a celebrity. They was fighting out the elevator. I don't know my mouth. They was fighting out the elevator in public. So what my nigga Quavo did was like, nigga, you wild. He got us out here in public. Took her ass. Uh, put her in the elevator. So they can handle this shit privately. Even though it's a camera everywhere you go. Which I never noticed, but I didn't do some dumb shit on the elevator before. So, um, to me, he was smart. They was, she was out there wilding in public, trying to take up, tug a wall the back. Like, you tripping, you wild, bro. You know, we, we know, you know we know. Took her, put in the elevator, handled this business. And she on the ground looking dumb. You should know what type of girl she blah, blah, blah. I think Streety's team had to put this out. 
to contextualize the relationship with Quavo and also paint him as an abuser. Pretty much. Except, and I'm going to ask my chat this, do y'all think he's an abuser from the video we are watching? I'll play it right now. You gotta look at it like this, cause it had been a, okay to say this in this situation. It had been a lot of people in this situation. The last celebrity I seen in this situation is Bow Wow, with the scratches on his face. The meme. He was in the elevator going ham on his girl. He never put his hands on him, but he was oh, you, you know what a girl, do? you know when your girl didn't piss you off. I'm like, man, you like, like, bro, who you talking to, bro? So you gotta have that type of energy. But some dudes can't take that for to me. I don't know. The video kind of done for me. It's like... I don't know if y'all seen it, but let me take it back. Let's do the video. Come here. Drop my shit. And she looking down. That's my thing, like... You so bossed up on fucking uh, revolt, but your petty ass on the floor of an elevator, bro. You so bossed up, Quavo on some real shit. I see you like when they take her shit. I know be like, oh, you ain't no boss if you took if you took your shit back. You bought your girl. Okay, look, I wouldn't take shit back. All the shit my girl got, I wouldn't take shit back. But if she shit it on me. And talk down on me like, nigga, I go find me another nine figure nigga or some shit. Like, what's he with the sis he was talking? Like, my nigga wanted threesome, we might bring another nigga in. Okay, they, cool. Woo, 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 we get that. Females might threesome. But the way she, how disrespectful she was, man, nigga, I'm taking back the bro. Nigga, I'm coming to get the Bentley. Nigga, I be so petty. Nigga, she did it to me on fucking Nursal TV. Nigga, I go get the Bentley, nigga, and put an auction on it. And the auction, the highest bid will be $14, nigga. $10, bill will be $14, nigga. Talk your shit if you want to. <laughs> but it don't look like, it look like an everyday couple, bro. They got into it. Female being petty. That nigga, hey, you wild. And come here. Sit down. She on the ground. Why would you do that? Bullshit. You know, every dude I hear, if you do watch with your girl, your girlfriend, you then cry over some bullshit, and you just staring at the what? Bro, <laughs> I'm out, man. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> like every dude has been in this situation, bro. So we gonna end the video with us. Like, comment, subscribe. Bro. <laughs>